I discovered the reaver suspiciously laid across my path. Again, I sensed nothing of that temporal distortion, the peculiar sense of displacement I had felt when I encountered the reaver in William's chapel. Cornered here with the blade, I suffered the same nameless dread that I had experienced when Janos first presented the reaver to me. I felt at once repelled by the blade, and yet overwhelmingly compelled to seize it. So, Razia, here we are finally. You have no choice but to confront me now, and I am not so foolish as I've let you believe. We have business to conclude. You knew I would lead the Seraphim to Janos, you vile bastard. You've been orchestrating my every move. <laughs> my destiny is an amusement to you. It was fun while it lasted. I think not, Raziel. Malik, do not let this creature leave. He poses a danger to the circle. Poor, deluded Raziel, did you somehow imagine you had the guile to change history on me? I'm the time streamer. I knew your every intention before you did, you imbecile. Lord Mobius, there is trouble within. The circle is under Hold attack. fast, Malik. This one is the real danger to us. What are you trying to concoct here, Mobius? You toxic creature. Did you imagine I'd simply allow you to run loose? Corrupting everything you encounter? I admit that I've underestimated you to this point, Mobius. But it's a mistake I won't repeat. Wrong again, Raziel. Now, Malik. Bolt the door. Using his staff to disable my wraith blade, Mobius effectively disarmed me, leaving me with only one choice of weapon. And yet I confess, it was not the lack of options, but blind rage that made me take up the Reaver. In my fury, it felt as though my hand had acted of its own will. And now, that same hand clutched the hilt with unyielding strength, and I felt a constrained tingling, a remote but palpable sense of longing, as the disabled Wraithblade tried vainly to embrace its physical twin. Now that I had taken it up, the Reaver and I were inescapably joined. The harder I tried to release the blade, the more tightly my hand gripped the hilt, as if possessed of its own will. <laughs> 